Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Soap Seas. Today, we're going to be making a salt bar. It is a item that men and women both can enjoy. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, we are back and... I have my oils already ready, and then I also have my uh, my live water ready here. So let's get started. Now my recipe that I have here in front of me that I'm using, it's 85% coconut oil, 5% uh, grapeseed oil, and 10% castor oil 30% on the super fat so you guys can run that through on your soap calculator and then it will tell you how much um, water and how much lye you want to use so that you'll get your calculations correct based on how much you're actually going to be making. Now, when you make a salt bar, the amount of salt depends on your amount of oils. So you want to have anywhere between 75% up to 100% salt. And I'm just putting on my gloves here. I should have done this before. Turn on the recording. All right, but we'll get these on in a minute and we'll get started. So I have my oils and we're going to scent this today. Um, this is going to be for the women, basically. And it's going to be Sex Bomb. It's a Lush Type Fragrance by Aztec. And based on the oils that I'm using today, I'm going to use about three quarters of an ounce in that. Okay, so we have this in. And let's get started. So we're going to start, of course, by adding our lye water. into the base and whenever you're working with salt <coughs> bars you don't want to really get this to a trace <coughs> because once you put the other infant other things in it will move very very fast so we are going to do this and what I'm hoping to do is to do two colors and when you're making a salt bar you want to make sure that you're using an individual mold for your soap you don't want to use a loaf um, mold because with the way that the salt sets up so quickly you won't have time to cut it and it'll get brittle and start breaking <laughs> and you'll have a mess and I uh, didn't take that recommendation when I first started making these so yes guys I know by <laughs> trial and error I've done it it doesn't work. I had a lot of scraps, a lot of pieces, and um, I ended up just using it myself, and it's just not very pretty. So take it for take it for my word. Okay, so that is done. We have that nice and smooth. I'm going to pour. Um, we're going to put the salt in first and then color it. I think that will work. So I'm putting my salt in. We are going to 
remove this. And see, it is thickening. It's getting thick already. But I'm still going to pour off some of this. And we lost some of it, so but that's okay. We'll clean that up. No worries. Okay. Let's get this going. That scent is very, very lovely. I'm going to pour off some. I already have the Color and I'm using an orange. We're going to do about maybe half of it. And I had that reserve on reserve. It's a really pretty peachy orange. Reminds you of summer. I don't know if you can see that. It reminds you of summer. And this is. Crafter's Choice color it and a little bit more because I want it a little dark. But that is beautiful. All right, we're going to get in here. And we're going to stick blend us a little bit more. And then we will start our pour. So, right. Get that up to a little bit of trace, a little bit more. Okay, then we're going to color. Get that one. Perfect. Okay. And the only thing left to do is to pour it. Okay, I have my individual moles here, and then I also have a backup mole that I didn't bring out with me. For our, just in case we have extra. All right, so we're going to do it this way because I want to. This is what they call a double pour. Can you guys see that okay? Maybe I should do it from this angle. Let's try it. And let's move that over there so it's out of my way. So I don't hit anything and knock anything. Let's see, can you guys see that okay? All right, yep, looks like you can. Okay, so, we're doing what they call a double pour.
looks like we've got a little bit more of the orange. So we're going to pick this last one. Mostly orange. Got an orange base. And there we have it. Now, I always forget my chopstick. Where is my chopsticks? I've got so many of them around here. Here we are. Okay, now, we're going to make designs in the sand, people. So much fun. We How's that? This one we're just kind of give it a swirl effect like that. This one. Just a tad bit here. We're gonna roll it back in. Okay, I think that looks all right there. See, these kind of things, if you're not artistic, they make you become artistic. You'd be surprised how many things and you think, oh, I can't do this. And then you do it and it's amazing. Okay, and this, okay, if I keep messing with it, we're going to really not have it right there. And then I have some glitter I thought I'd put in there. All right, should we do gold or should we do silver, guys? Okay, half of you are saying gold and the other half I hear saying silver. All right, well, let's tell you. Let's do a little 
bit of each. Trying to knock some of the bubbles out of that. All right, now I don't have a shaker, so we're going to spoon it. All right, this one I know for sure we're going to do gold because that one's one I'm going to probably keep. This one we'll do a little gold in it just because I like. And this one. Well, this it, this glitter is um is cosmetic glitter, guys. So it's not like the craft store glitter that you buy in the hobby stop, shops for what the kids use. This is uh, formulated for skin usage, so it is definitely safe. It's not going to cut you. Which, if you use those big ones that you do see in the stores like that, they're not designed to be used on the skin. Well, I hope I'm not getting too much in here. Alright, now, we're just going to do wherever it falls it may. Okay, get that all. And there we go. And beauty, beauty, beauty. So we will find out how it hangs and how they look out. They can only be gorgeous. So, bye for now. See you next time. Thank you for watching. And you know the routine. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.